Hi, in this video we're going to show everything that's needed to get the Beamable SDK up and running in Unity. So here starting from the Beamable website, we would go into the documentation page. Here's the documentation. We would go into the getting started and installing Beamable and follow along with those instructions. Following those instructions online and getting my Beamable license would include the Beamable SDK installer Unity package. I've got that here on my desktop and I've opened up the Unity Hub. With the Unity Hub, I wanna go ahead and create a new project or if you have an existing project, you can do that. It's important that the version be compatible with the latest version of the Beamable SDK. Here I've got a compatible Unity version ready to go. So I'll go ahead and create a new project. Unity gives me a choice of templates here. You can choose any of the templates, but I'll just choose the basic 3D. And I'll give myself a project here on my desktop. Now that Unity has opened and imported what it needs for a new project, or in your case, if you have an existing project, you've opened that up, the next step is to bring in the Beamable SDK installer from my desktop. I'll do that under the window menu here, Assets and Import Package. We'll be bringing in the custom package from my desktop. Unity is going to show me what is about to be imported. I'm going to leave all the default settings there and click Import. Now that that package is fully imported, we're going to go ahead and install the Beamable SDK. I'll do that by clicking here. This will automatically open up the package manager and add a scoped registry to bring in the rest of the code. Now that the Beamable SDK installer has finished installing the SDK itself, we can go ahead and start using the Beamable product. We'll go to Window, Beamable, and open up the toolbox. Now because this is the first time that I've run Beamable inside this particular Unity project, I'll log in with my existing credentials or create new credentials now. Now that we've logged in with the login window properly, we're here inside the toolbox and we're ready to develop a new project in my case, or if you brought this into your existing project, you can continue development. Just to verify success here, I'll bring out the admin flow, run the Unity scene and verify that everything's working properly. Now with the Unity scene running, I can click into the scene itself there, into the game window, click the tilde key, which will open up the admin flow, and type one of many commands that's available. I'll use dbid to get the database ID for myself as the game player here. And there's my ID. That's a unique number for me. I'm able to take that and use it for development and debugging here inside Unity, as well as in the portal on the back end. That's it. Everything's set up and you're ready to develop with Beamable. 